The Raiders signed Derek Carr to a three-year, $120 million deal. Okay, three years, $120 million. That's about $40 million a year, right? That's in the same range as Josh Allen with the Bills, you know, Patrick Mahomes with the Chiefs, right? That that he he's being paid like he's an elite quarterback. So, you know, that, that's a lot of money. But when you read into the contract, you find out that they have back doors. The Raiders can get out of it after a year. They don't like the way things are going. They can get out of it again in two years if they don't like the way things are going. Now, Derek Carr has made his feelings clear, right? If he's not going to play for the Raiders, he's not going to play for anyone. I don't know how much I believe that, right? Quarterbacks always say that. You know, I, I don't buy that he's going to retire, you know, with fuel in the tank. I, I just don't buy that. I feel like he said that because he probably wants to play for the Raiders, right? It's Las Vegas. They have that brand new stadium, right? The fans are great. He just doesn't want to leave, right? But, but the bottom line is the Raiders pay him like an elite quarterback, but they have back doors to protect themselves. And I feel that fits Derek Carr. I feel that fits Derek Carr because Derek Carr's career, there's times you really like him and there's times you're very frustrated with him. Like last year, okay, last year, he had six games where he had a QBR rating below 30. He had eight games where he had a QBR rating below 50. That's frustrating. But then the first three games, if you remember when the Raiders started their season last year, they won their first three games and Derek Carr was averaging over 400 yards a game and two touchdowns a game. They were actually talking about Derek Carr as if he was in the MVP conversation, if you remember. Okay, he was lighting it up when he started the season last year. And the Raiders weren't doing bad. If you remember, they weren't doing that bad. And then the whole Henry Ruggs thing happened. And when that happened, everything went bad, right? The Raiders lost their next three games, and then they lost five out of their next six games. So things went really bad when Henry Ruggs, you know, got in trouble, accident, you know, was no longer a member of the Raiders. Henry Ruggs up until that point was the number one receiver for the Raiders in terms of yards per game. He was right under 70 yards per game. So that was a big loss for the Raiders, right? And then you have the whole, you know, John Gruden fiasco, and, you, you know, you have, uh, you know, he leaves, and... The worst thing for a quarterback is inconsistency, right? Inconsistency with his receiver, inconsistency with his coach. Inconsistency in football is an enemy of a quarterback. So that's why it's so hard to read Derek Carr because it was kind of unfair what happened to him. He still threw for 4,800 yards. You know, he, he got switched out his coach midseason, right? He lost his number one receiver. That's hard. They still made the playoffs. Uh, they played against the Bengals. And then this is where you get frustrated with Carr, right? They were down by seven points, got down to the red zone. I believe it was on the Bengals' nine-yard line, had four chances, and he threw a pick. That's where you get frustrated, right? There's times you see he's really good, and there's times you get frustrated with him. But here's the interesting thing about the Raiders. They have made a ton of moves this year. They've made a ton of moves. You know, new head coach, right? Uh, Josh McDaniels from the Patriots. I know he failed with the Broncos. Okay, but, you know, he kind of showed up with a God complex, right? You know, I'm a Patriot coach, you know, we're dynasties, we win every year kind of attitude. And it rubbed the players wrong, right? And, and, and that whole thing kind of failed. I don't expect him to show up to Las Vegas like that, right? He learned from his mistakes. He is a sharp dude. That Patriots offense was always humming and they competed at the highest level. Okay, I, I did another video on Brady. 19 times out of 20 years, he's played for 20 years, 19 times Brady has been in the top seven in either passing yards, total passing yards, or passing touchdowns. A lot of that had to do with Josh McDaniels. Okay, so he's now the head coach of the Raiders, and he learned from his past mistake, so he's going to show up with a different attitude this time. He's a sharp dude. He's a smart dude. He has a high football IQ. So they brought him the right coach, right, that knows what he's doing. Uh, and then they've made a bunch of changes, right? And they've had to because they lost players. They lost Yannick Nagakwe. They lost Quinton Jefferson, right? They lost Solomon Thomas. Between those three players, they had 18 sacks last year. So that's a lot to lose on defense. So new coach, and they lost some players. But they brought people in, right? They have two new cornerbacks. They brought in uh, Darius Phillips. I believe he's from the Bengals. And then they brought in uh, Rock Yassin. Uh, I believe he is from the Colts. Yeah, Rock Yassin's from the Colts. And Darius Phillips from the Bengals. And of course, you got Jonathan Abram and you got Trayvon Merrick, the guy, you know, drafted in the first round. I believe it was the first or second round, Trayvon Merrick, the safety, who's an outstanding safety. And Jonathan Abram is good too. So you're hoping those two cornerbacks with, you know, established free safety, strong safety, 
can do the job in the secondary. Then they brought in Kyler Frackrell, right? He was drafted by Green Bay. He had that one year where he had double digit sacks. Then he went to the Giants and from the Giants to the Chargers. And now he's with the Raiders. So that's three new pieces after losing three pieces, right? And then, of course, Chandler Jones. That's a big one. Okay, the Patriots, I can't believe they let Chandler Jones get away. Okay, he was amazing with the Cardinals when he's healthy. He's amazing. That's a great way to make up for Yannick Ngakwe, right? Solomon Thomas and Quentin Jefferson, Chandler Jones, and he's capable of doing it, right? He's capable of doing it. And if the Raiders run their defense like they did last year, they were dead last in blitz percentage. Okay, they, they don't like to the blitz. They like to leave everyone back to defend the pass and trust their front four. So we'll see how that works out. But they've made a ton of moves on defense, right? Especially to their secondary. And then when you look at their offense, right, they brought in Devontae Adams. And there are many who believe he's the best receiver in football, right? And it's going to be interesting to see how that dynamic works between Derek Carr and Devontae Adams, because we know, right, it worked between Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams. So Derek Carr really doesn't have any excuses for that to fail. And when you look at the Raiders receiving core, they have Hunter Renfro, right? Who kind of picked up when Henry Ruggs departed, right? Hunter Renfro last year caught for over a thousand yards. So you have Renfro. You have Adams, you have uh, uh, Josh Jacobs, the running back, and who's the other receiver? Uh, Edwards, right? Uh, oh, Darren Waller. Darren Waller is one of the best tight ends in football, right? He missed, I think, five, six games last year. So that's a sneaky good receiving core. Devontae Adams, Renfro, uh, Hunter Renfro, uh, Edwards, I believe it's Brian Edwards, Darren Waller, okay? And then you got a solid running back in the backfield. And with all those changes you made on defense, bringing in a new coach, Eric Carr really doesn't have any excuses this year. Everything has been, you know, fixed somewhat. New coach, elite coach, right? This is someone that's been involved in a lot of winning, you know, best receiver in football, one of the best pass rushers in football, you know, lined up with Max Crosby, right? Who's building a name for himself, new secondary, you know, a sneaky good receiving core. Derek Carr, you know, uh, uh, this needs to be his year. And it's going to be difficult for him because he's going up against Mahomes and the Chiefs. He's going up against Herbert and the Chargers and Wilson and the Broncos. But here's my thing. Okay, when people say divisions are easy, that's not the hard part. That's ridiculous. That's six games. You still, the, the NFL 17 games. You could have a weak division and have the most difficult schedule in football because you're still playing other teams. I hate when people act like it's easy when you have a weak division because you still have 11 other games. And if you're going to win a Super Bowl, right, you have 14 or 15 more games. Okay, so it's not just, you know, if you have a weak division, but he is, it does make it harder because you play those teams twice a year. If I had to make my prediction right now, Vegas is saying that the Raiders are fourth, that the Broncos are going to be better out of their division, that the Chargers are going to be better and that the Chiefs are going to be better. I would say they have a chance to finish second in the division and make the playoffs. And I'm not sure who's going to win. I, I could see this Raider team, given how much Derek Carr improved last year, and with the coach and Devontae Adams and the changes on defense, I could see this team finishing second in the division and I could see them making the playoffs and being that one team in the playoffs, you know, that could, you know, upset somebody. I'm not going to say they're Super Bowl contenders, but I could see them finishing second in their division and being a headache in the playoffs. And, and, and like I said, no excuses for Derek Carr. You got the coach, you got the money, you got the receiver, you got the defense. This is the year you got You got to put up or shut up this year. Hey, hey, everyone. Thank you for watching SP Sports today. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. This way you are notified when we post new videos. Also, if you have a moment, leave a comment and check out our other videos.